Good morning, my name is David Oscar, and yes, I'm very Ghanaian. I'm born here, bred here. Uh, I was raised here. I have a Ghanaian passport, I hold a Ghanaian passport, and uh, since I was born, I've lived here all my life, and I've stayed the same complexion, so obviously. I don't think there's any person out there who, who is more Ghanaian than I am. Um, I had a call sometime last night uh, from someone purporting to be the SRC president of some institution, and uh, the person was thanking me for the position I've taken for the party. Uh, let me say this, I don't belong to any party. Uh, I'm just a regular Ghanaian like anybody else who is also concerned, you know, and I think that my opinions should be respected as such. Uh, but thank you anyway. Today, I'm here because of my sister, Yvonne Nelson. Um, Yvonne is on record to have attacked me, uh, questioning whether I'm Ghanaian, but I've answered that question already. Uh, but I think Yvonne belongs to one of these three groups. Uh, one, uh, those group of people who hear something, not hear, those group of people who, uh, you know, read a headline and then jump to conclusions and start attacking. Uh, two, those people who have so many movie scripts on their tables reading and so when another story crop up from a different quarter, they don't really pay attention to the content and, uh, you know, start casting aspersions on people's personalities. And uh, the third group, you know, those people who are out there looking for my attention, you know, uh, because tell you what, between last night and this morning, in fact, between two nights ago, last night and this morning, I have uh, I have been in the first three uh, top trends on Twitter. Um, at the time, hashtag Doom so Must Stop was not even part of the first ten. Sometime late afternoon yesterday, hashtag Doom so Must Stop climbed up to number ten, which means that I have actually helped your cause because. Uh, in the quest of people wanting to find out who I am and all the insults and everything, you know, it drew some traffic and drew some traffic towards your direction as well. So, you see, we are not enemies after all. I mean, I have helped your cause. So, um, I think that if we pride ourselves in our democracy, as Ghanaians, if we pride ourselves in being one of the hottest democracies on the African continent, then we should be tolerant towards divergent opinions because you don't expect everybody to take your side all the time. Uh, and particularly when there's a presumption that people commenting on some of these issues are intellectuals. You would want to expect that, you know, intellectuals as we are, would be tolerant, you know, would have tolerance for opinions coming from all quarters. Other than that, then why are we priding ourselves of being a democratic state? When you speak, then somebody also shares an opinion, then it becomes a problem because the person doesn't seem to converge with you on the same point, you know. Um, Ghana is a peaceful country, it's a beautiful country, you know, we have diverse cultures, we coexist peacefully regardless of our, you know, religious differences, regardless of our tribal differences, regardless of our political differences. You know, this for me is what is important. Let us not sit in this country and slaughter this, you know, this beautiful reputation we have as a people on the altar of political bigotry, you know, uh, because my only crime was to have expressed my opinion, which didn't seem to sit well with certain people, and so that has become a problem. David Oscar is a villain, you know, but I don't think that I insulted anybody. I mean, if I say that I don't want to be hypocritical, I was referring to me. Uh, people have drawn all sorts of inferences out of that, saying that I have said that, you know, certain people are hypocrites, but anyways, that's semantics, you know. Uh, when you say something, you don't expect people to take it line who can sink up. They will also read their own minutes into it. So it's fine. But let's be civil because uh, we are not at war. And, um, you know, I don't think that I have insulted anybody to deserve all this backlash and insults. Uh, thank you for making time to listen.